Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Ubu Gatwi Uchi and I have with me here... Turad. Okay, Turad is a friend of mine and um, today we'll be reacting to incredible and emotional Quran recitation. And why I have Turad here is because by religion, he's a Muslim. By way of life, he's a Muslim. And I'm a Christian. But I've actually come to a time I'm open to learning new things about not just other people or not just about life, but also religion, like different things about life. Okay, so, and we've reacted to one of um, a previous video on Quran with, um, prayers and Quran recitation. And I was actually intrigued by what I learned. Like my eyes got open to another way of seeing life you know so we'll be doing this and if you have any other videos you want us to react to can you come down to my sec uh, comment section and comment on that um uh, without wasting much of our time let's get right into this straight up Oh God. 
shaking right now, you know, I'm literally shaking it. From God we are, and to him is our return. This world is nothing. This world is nothing. I don't know why we're taking it to be something. We're just here for, 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 for some few, few days. Few days. I don't know why we humans, we, we so forgotten. We don't really take account of things. We don't really, um, anyway, God stated in the Quran that we have shallow mind. We, we, we do forget things easily. If not, if not, 
looking at the history of how God does his things, how God planned things, and how God made this life a very short life, whilst the life here after is like eternity. Uh, it's an eternity. It's a it's a life that has no end. Which we we humans we decide to just come here and enjoy just a few years or a few days and forgetting our hereafter, forgetting our the life of. Uh, our life after our death, it's not easy, it's not easy. And um, I just felt so, so pity, so sorry for, for myself. So sorry for myself, like you, you sleep, wake up without... It's not easy, it's not easy, it's not easy. The life is just vanity of um, vanity. We, we, we just don't think, we just don't think. But if we do, I don't think we will be, we, we, we're gonna take the world as we took it today. You wake up, all you are after is how do you become rich? How do you get money? How do you cheat? How do you fight your fellow being? Or how do you see the downfall of your fellow being? Or how do you, it's not easy. Whilst the life is just, you come to live before you realize your history is forgotten. That is even if you've living or if you've left a good legacy. Not to talk of living a bad legacy whereby you're going to rape it. It's not easy. Okay. What do you have to say? First, I, I'm literally shaking when I'm saying I'm shaking because I, I was shedding tears because she just touched on a lot of things which even you could even see in the Christian Bible, in the Holy Bible. Like when you talk about the end and go to hell and you know, it's something we should actually take time to look at in our life and like whatever we are doing, is it worth it? Is it worth our eternity? You 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 get it. Like it's just sad whereby we do things without for just a short minute of pleasure and we get to suffer at the end. So sometimes we should just sit back and look back at our life, recount and, you know, take measures and know that, no, this is not going right with God or this is not right. We're not treating our fellow humans right. We should, we should, you know, look into our life and become better people because what is it? At the end of the day, we are living with nothing. And something I wanted to verify on this thing when um, he was reading, he talked about Tamod and Ad. I don't know if you can okay. explain. Um, so this is why Islam is quite different from other religions, because when you take um, a, when you take a Quran for for instance or for example, it's only Quran that God uh, uh, gave. O oh, revealed to Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing of God continue to shower on him. That talk about the life before Prophet Muhammad and the life after Prophet Muhammad. Why? Because Prophet Muhammad is not, uh, peace be upon him, is not just sent to the people of Mecca or Medina, but sent to the entire world. God has sent uh, in the Quran, God have sent uh, uh, 124,000 prophets. Each of these prophets are coming with a revelation, are coming with a message, which is to preach the oneness of God, to preach the monotheism of God. And despite messages of upon messages, revelation upon revelation. I don't know how God made it possible or how God wished that he made it upon all the miraculous things we've seen. All those people before, before us have seen, they decide to turn deaf ears upon the prophets or the messengers of God. It's really 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 amazing it's really sad sad 
but we, we thank God for He being merciful to us, allowing us, allowing His word to penetrate in us and making us um, believers to Him. So with the question you asked, you see, from the 124,000 prophet that uh, God sent, what he does is he sends each single prophet not to the entire world, but to a nation or to a tribe. So this surah is basically talking about uh, uh, so many things, which part of them it's giving us it's giving us a history of how the Samud and the Ads, uh, which are of two nations, mentioned several times in the Quran. They are often discussed when Allah is directing our attention uh, uh, to the people who disobey him and were punished as a result. Before sending the punishment to them, Allah sent two prophets to these nations which is the Samud and the Ads. But the Samud come first before the Ad. Ads. Okay. No, the, the Ads come first before the, uh, the, before the Samud. Okay. So, before sending the punishment to them, Allah sent two prophets, which these two prophets uh, uh, are, he sent prophet Hud, uh, alayhi salatu wa salam, to the Ads and Prophet Saleh to the Samud. Unfortunately, both nations rejected the, uh, these two prophets or their prophets. Not only did they reject them, they mock and ridicule them. And in the case of Saleh, they almost, oh, they even tried to yeah. kill him because they really go after him. The same that happened to so many prophets before them and after them, together with um, uh, Jesus, alayhi salatu wa salam. When we say alayhi salatu wa salam, what we simply means is uh, may peace and blessings of God continue to shower on him. And together with Prophet Muhammad, alayhi salatu wa salam, people also came after him, but God never permit that to happen. Uh, so, this is with the Samud and the Ads. So, in, in verse 6 to 8, the Surah is actually talking about how the Ads were destroyed by screaming, violent windstorm, uh, which will be like, uh, which will be like, hurricane. let me give you an example, like hurricane or something like, uh, what do they call this Tornado, yeah, like it's just uh, wind, like a heavy wind. You know, no matter how uh, wind will come, if it's just normal wind, you can see wind carrying zinc, carrying maybe Roof plants, tops, yeah. trees. But one amazing thing you barely see or you hardly see is to see wind carrying human beings or animals. But because of their rejecting the messenger of God and the message of God, God decided to punish them with wind, a heavy wind whereby it destroyed them. You understand? Yes. Uh, which that, uh, Allah imposed on them for seven days and eight nights straight, or let's say seven nights and eight days. Pay what the verse says is, yeah. So you could see the people there in falling as if they were hollow trunks of palm trees, then do you see any remains? Nothing. God destroyed them. None was, was left. Uh, the surah has uh, 52 verses divided into two. Uh, the, meaning, the meaning, which is al-haq, al-haq in Arabic, in English, when you are changing it to English. Okay, so the surah is al-haq. Which, is simply, which simply means the undeniable reality or the truth. Why is it called the truth? From what we've listened to, 
the translation we've seen, it's like your idea. It's like you are picturing things that have happened, that are going to happen, right? So the surah itself, its name, Al-Haq, the undeniable truth. We shall all reap what we sow, right? Yes. So uh, the surah talks about the previous generation and the people of the past prophets. As I told you, or as the surah says, the, they are past prophets, as I told you, from the uh, 120, 24,000 prophets we have. This surah is talking about how one, each and every one of them come with a message and how those who followed, accept, and do the right thing are going to receive their record on the day of judgment by their right hand. And those who also reject, which we don't pray to be among them, uh, will also receive their message from the left hand. Once you receive your message from the left hand, then you know you are condemned. You are condemned. Like you are finished, you are done. Which we pray for Almighty God not to make us among the losers, among those who will regret. So, uh, the surah, it, it tells about the fate of Ad and Samud and Pharaoh. It's at some point you heard yes. the, uh, the surah talk about Pharaoh, how stubborn he is, an indirect mention of Noah, Noah's um, people and his boats, which was made of talking of mankind. Then there is detailed depiction of the last day. So the last day, with, that's where your record will be given to you if you do the right thing by the right hand. Once you, your record is been given to you by the right hand, with, with the right hand side, then you know that God will yes. show you the way to enjoy paradise. paradise, enjoy. You see a lot of things, garden, stream, women, all things you, you, you haven't enjoyed. For, yeah. And that's, that, that's not going to, like nothing will give you pleasure than thinking or coming to realize you're going to enjoy forever. In the Bible, it's unlawful, it's not good to take alcohol. Over there, you can take alcohol as, as far as you want it. It's not good to go after women. Over there, you can go after any kind of woman you want. I see. The curvy, the shape, the everything you can chase after the women you want. God will give them to you. It's not the kind of things over there... Like, that's why it's, the surah is it's called uh, the Al-Haq, or uh, Al-Haq, the undeniable truth. Okay. So, you just rape what you sow. Okay. That basically is it. So, the first and, uh, okay, uh, then there is a detailed depiction of the last day, first and the end of the universe, and the destruction of heaven and earth. Presented and later a few verses about the judgment that will result in reward and punishment in the end. It tells the message, Quran is not a poetry of a poet. So we've also learned in the surah that Quran, as, as at then when Prophet Muhammad was, the, the surah was revealed to him and he, he's telling his people, those, of the, those who were having strong head were thinking he's telling them a poetry, or he's, ju he's just a soothsayer, sorry to say. To them, that's what they felt. But then God is telling them that this message, or uh, yeah, uh, this message is not a poetry and it's not from a soothsayer, but it's a word of God. It's not something that is of mad made, uh, man made. It is the revelation of the Lord of the world. So may Almighty God grant us the ability, the capacity to worship him on how he will be happy, on how he will be glad with us. May he guide us to the right way, to the right path. Amen. I don't know if you are clear with the yeah. ads, and the Samud, the two nations, yes. and how they 
Yeah. Some, it's a, kind of remind me like in the Bible, like the, um, um, Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. Yeah, something like that. It's kind of um, story or something like that in the Bible. Okay. So I kind of understand. So right, what I could pick up from this is that this word is like when we're in school. Is a school. At the end of the school. day, it's like you write your exams. That's it. So at the end of the day, those who pass will be given their certificates, who finish their courses, who exactly. do their certificates, exactly. and those who fail or who could not, will not be given a certificate. So you are going home with shame. So you are called, we all will be called back home from where we came from. Sure. So at the end of the day, if you did well, you're given paradise. If you, if you mess everything up, you are going to damnation, you'll be condemned in hell. Sure. So in all we do, all I could leave us with today is we should look for the way we should seek Allah, we should seek God and live righteously the way he wants us to. I think it's the rules and everything are put down in the holy books. So we should look at it and what we believe in and pray to Allah, seek his face. And that is when we will surely uh, meet or know him and know his ways. Sure. Thank you guys for sticking with us. I know this has been a very long one, but it's been insightful. I've learned a lot. And please, if you have any um, videos you want us to react to, can you drop that below in the comment section? And if you have any suggestion or anything you have to say to me, like, like to give me more insight or you have more facts or knowledge about this, please can you drop that in the comment section? I'll definitely um, get to see it. Thank you guys. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to come away next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.